In late January this year, uh, we got hit with a major storm, uh, Storm Jonas, that actually came up the East Coast and certainly wreaked a lot of havoc. We took care of our locations in New England. We got some phone calls on Monday morning, uh, actually from some of our key clients. Unfortunately, some of their vendors actually didn't fare well in that amount of snow. Washington, Maryland, New Jersey, Pennsylvania was up as 30 inches of snow, which certainly is what we're used to up in New England, but down there, they certainly struggled with. A lot of companies, when they get that call, uh, they get a little stressed out. Um, I'll be honest with you, we got really excited. At that point, made the decision to mobilize a fleet of equipment, over 40 pieces, a combination of loaders, skid steers, tractor trailers, pickup trucks, snow blowers, and also labor, over 30 or so employees to actually send down to uh, the Baltimore, New Jersey, Pennsylvania area. Two loaders on a low bed with a snow blower and two case trucks and a pulling a skid steer. I mean, we had a whole convoy that went down there. We convoyed about six or seven hours, showed up and just unloaded, started moving snow. A lot of buried cars, buried up to the hood. You know, they're not moving for weeks. They just had nowhere to put it. They were snow plowers and pushers, just no snow removal, you know? So we showed up to just a mess. Three days, four days after a storm and the lights are off. There's two feet of snow in the parking lot. There's machines parked in the parking lot just with the bucket up in the air, the back door open, like broke down machines. It's like a ghost town. We pull up on the site and we have a piece of equipment for everything. You know, we have a shovel crew that goes with us. The shovel crew starts on the sidewalks and gets the snow away from the building. We have the smaller equipment, whether it have been a Bobcat or a 906, to pull the snow away from the building. And then we had the big machine, the 926, to start pushing all the snow into, into piles and, and, and getting all the bulk of the snow out of there. And then after, we have our trucks just to clean up with the plows and salt the lots after. Seeing an old person being able to just walk easily to a door, you know. I mean, young guys, nothing for me, but for them, it means a lot to them, you know. So it makes me feel good just helping out with something simple. The store managers are coming out of the stores like, oh, please, you know, we, we got to get deliveries in here and, you know, which store are you going to next? It was clear after this event uh, that our customer appreciated this so much uh, that I've actually chartered an internal project to formalize our emergency response plan and our emergency response team and logistics so that we can even more quickly react to this in the future. I remain extremely proud of our team and our ability as a company to react that quickly to really what was a dire situation for some of our key customers. Our people stepped up and that's really is a case no advantage and that's really how we make a difference.